You're listening to Hi, this is Kat and welcome to Cat Tales. In this edition, I speak to British progressive rock band Magnum, veterans of the music industry with 42 years of hard labour behind them. They confess to enjoying greater success in Europe, so have embarked on a 36-day tour across the continent culminating in Sweden Rock Festival. But before they headed across the water, I managed to persuade bassist Al Barrow and drummer Harry James to give up the inside scoop on a few things. This is the one with Magnum. First of all, let me say thank you very much for agreeing to talk to Deep Red magazine. That's fine. Um, and I've got with me... I'm Harry James. And I'm Al Barrow. So I'm sitting here with Magnum, and we're in Norwich at the waterfront. So, guys, you've been in Bristol yesterday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In Norwich today. Mm. Uh, where are you going tomorrow? Because it's a Lemington world winter. Tomorrow. Oh, Lemington Spa tomorrow. Yes, Lemington I Spa. say, you sing a lot of the UK as you go yeah. through this, aren't you, really? Yeah. Now, am I right in saying that it's about 36 day tour you're on? Yes, That's you fine. are. Yeah. Yeah, wow. you're right, correct. You've correct. done your research. Yeah. I know. It has to be done, doesn't it, really? Yeah. Is that how many we're doing? I was yes, told we were doing five. <laughs> no, they lied. <laughs> they lied. They do. Now, how do you prepare for something like that? Because that's quite a lot of uh, dates, isn't it? You drink lots and you um, have really late nights. And <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you you got you got to pace yourself. Um, you know, this is rock and roll. Of course it is. But, um, you know, to a certain extent, you've got to pace yourself and not drink yourself into the ground and get enough rest um, when when you can. You yeah. Know, so, yeah. No, but it's all good. You know, we wouldn't do it if we didn't love it. Mm. So, well, it's a not a bad way of passing your time, really. Is no, it? no. It's, you know, we're, we're you know we're, we're we're very grateful that you know we've uh, chosen this this path in life, as it were. As you it know. were. So, no complaints just yet. No, no, not at all. Now, Madden's been around for something like 42 years, but both of you guys haven't been from the very start of the band, have yes, you? You only, look far too young. Oh, I'm nearly new. <laughs> yeah, I'm like 35. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, they've got quite a long history, but um, we've been with them for quite a while now. We're yeah, I, um, you, you did some work with Tony and uh, Bob <laughs> before in Hard Rain, and then um, I came into the fold at the turn of the century, I believe. So. <laughs> turn of the century. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, then. Yesterday, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and, and how's it been compared to other bands that you've been working in? Then, being in the, you know, bands established for so it's long. It's great. It's you know, it's, it's just um, it's weird. I, I work with one or two bands, and um, you know, it's 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 the same kind of um, feel. You know, same kind of people, really. You know, mm. but obviously different bands and different. You get in some interesting characters mm. and different and mental issues. Well. Yeah, <laughs> mental issues. Yeah, yeah. And so the dynamics of the band are pretty much the same in terms of, you know, being in a rock and roll band. Yeah, oh, definitely, definitely. But yeah. personalities must come into play a little bit there. Uh, feeling the new boys, as it were, mm. has that been difficult for you? Truth now, come um, on, you can tell me. I won't I tell would, anybody else, no, honest. Uh, yeah, with Michael. <laughs> no, um, Forget it. <laughs> it was a very natural process for me. I mean, I did the hard rain um, jobs with um, Tony and Bob, and it was like a very natural progression for me to be taken on into Magnum. So the kind of people that realised that Magnum were back on the road, they kind of knew about me a little bit already, so of they course. was kind of accepted a little bit. Yeah. There was one or two people that did ask where Wally was and would he be coming back, Yeah, which was... Where's quite, Wally? <laughs> um, and it was the same with you. You just kind of slipped in and yeah. no one noticed. No, no. And all of a sudden, that's, that was the unit. Um, there was a little bit of a change at one point, but it, it, this is it now. It's a very solid uh, unit that we've got. It works well. We're all happy with what you know. Everyone gets on mm. real well, yeah. which is as important as being able to play well together. Absolutely. So, in terms of like this particular tour, you're obviously doing the UK. You're going abroad next, I think, aren't you? Down into Germany, France. That's you've right. Done, yeah. You've already been to, done to the Netherlands already. Yeah. I we've done, no, we've done Scandinavia. Mm. Yeah. Um, and then we, after the UK, we've got one, I think one gig in Holland, one gig in Belgium, and then uh, two or three weeks in Germany. Right. Germany is a massive, massive country, unbelievably so, um, as everybody would probably know. Mm. But you know, there's quite a few gigs, quite a few places to to visit in Germany. You know, it's great. It's really good. You're well received over there, aren't you? Very and well. also Scandinavia. I believe you released your latest album there first before yeah. even the UK. Am I right in that? that yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is that simply because of the the fans you've got over there, or was there another strategy involved? No, I think it's just the way they work things over there. You you you. Um, whereas we'd probably release an album on a Monday, for instance, they might do it on a Friday 
Right. I, I mean, I don't understand why, but that's just why, what they what yeah. they do. They they do it different. Right. Just differently. It's nothing to do with the fans or anything. No, like that. it's just it the way just, they do it. Just the way it worked out. Yeah, yeah. So the new album then it's called Escape from the Shadow Garden. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's a great name. Where did that come from from the start? Do you know anything about that? Hope you well. Well, it, it would be Tony that we you'd really need I know, to uh, he's delve uh, with. He's Mr. Um, Lyric Man, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> he, he writes all the songs for Magnum. Yeah. Always has done and always will do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But uh, it's, he picks his inspiration from everything that happens around us, as, as many of us do, whether it be something on TV, whether it's just a conversation, he'd mm. be walking down a road, mm. hear someone literally say one thing, and yeah. it, it, off it goes. Um, and it was just one of those things that he kind of put together, and he went, I've got this idea for a title. And, and all of a sudden, it, became, it was a lyric in the song, and then it became the album title. So Excellent. He, well, the way his brain works is a mystery to all of us, <laughs> including himself. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I mean, the creative ask, him, brain. Himself, so. If you ask him the same question, now do you come up with the lyrics, he just goes, I have no idea, really. <laughs> yes. That's honesty for you. Yeah. And how well has it been received? Is it going down well so far? Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Really, really very good. I mean, the album itself paved the way for the tour in that... Um, yeah, I mean, it, the, the album sold great, you know, got to number... 38. 38 over here. So, I mean, high, we were high up in the um, the, uh, the rock charts and all that sort of stuff, which, mm-hmm. which is obviously fantastic for to get the album exposed, get the band exposed, get the tour yeah. on the road, you know? So, yeah, no, it's, it's been, been uh, so far so good. Well, what surprised me was that it came out about 18 months after your previous album, didn't it? Yeah. So that was quite hot on the heels of On the 13th Day, That's which right. again is another exciting title. Was there any sort of strategy involved in that, or was that just because, you know, Tony's coming up with the ideas, coming up with the songs, and T- you're going to Tony's, go Tony's uh, very, I mean, very good at, uh, I'm just talking <laughs> to somebody with my hand. <laughs> it's gesticulating. Gesticulating, yeah. I like that word, I should use that <laughs> in conversation. I think that's quite nice. Use it now. Yeah. yeah. You're gesticulating very nicely gesti- over there. gesticulating. Uh, no, Tony's very, very good. Uh, he's very, very um, good at coming up with ideas very quickly. In fact, I mean, it was it was bounded that we'd be in the studio later on this year to start a new one. Uh, wh- whether 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 that's true or not, I really don't know yet. But he's he's very he's got loads of ideas, and uh, it's really quite a normal schedule for us, isn't it? Yeah, that yeah. kind of turnaround. It's. It just happens yeah. that way. It's very comfortable. It's nice how we're, you know, oh, God, not, not too soon. It's well, this is, this is the next question I was going to ask, actually, because the music business has changed so much, hasn't it? You know, years gone by, you'd have been under so much pressure by labels to, mm. you know, where's the next one, there's the next hit single. Uh, so to have change of label, I understand, has also happened. So a bit more freedom in that. I was surprised to see that sort of pace still going, but I guess it must be a bit of a creative thing. It is a creative thing. It's not, it's not the record company, the SPV, a, a, a very, very... Very, very good. Very, very understanding with the band. Let's uh, the band get on with it. Um, and thankfully, we, you know, especially the last two albums, we've come up with the goods, and they've they sort of said, "Oh, we love this. We love this." So they've basically they trust more Tony uh, and the band um, to come up with the the final product. And then, um, but yeah, you know, they've been very supportive, and there's no pressure. That's there really good. is no That's pressure, good. which is which is great. Really I suppose that also comes from being around for such a long time in terms of the band as, as Magnum. I know there was obviously the big break in between that period yeah. of time, but mm. it's still, you know, the history of the band goes back so far, doesn't yeah. it? So yeah. I guess it could potentially be something to do with that. Yeah. I think it's also to do with that Tony's kind of learnt a lot of lessons along the way and he won't be dictated to him in many aspects. He's, he's very true to himself and he goes, mm. this is what we do, this is what mm. we are. And SPV go, brilliant, thank you very much, we love it, just carry on, do what you do. So there's a lot of trust there. That's yeah. what that's we good, do. isn't it? That, that's, that what is that's what we yeah, do. Yeah, there is, tru- there is trust there. That, that's that's uh, quite a good... It's another good word. Another good word. Yeah. Can we get them today, aren't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I haven't even had a glass of wine yet. No. <laughs> very good. <laughs> you need to enunciate that. Enunciate. Or another nice word. Enunciate, yeah. Talking of changes in the music industry, you guys have been around in different bands for some time, as you've confessed. Your words, not mine. From the point of view of how it is now, compared to the good old days of hard product, etc., downloads are such an important part of the business, Definitely, aren't they? Yeah. Do you think that's you know a hindrance or a help? I, I think it's a, it's a help because it's just another way of uh, marketing your product, if you, uh, which is what it is, basically. I know it's, to us it's, a, it's an album of music, but to, to most people it's a product. Um, 
Yeah, I think it does help because not only do people... I mean, the good thing about when we release an album, it comes out on vinyl as well. And I think you get a little CD in there, so that right, if yeah. you want to put it in iTunes, right. uh, you, you know, you can, you can download it from, from, from iTunes as well. No, I think it's a help because it's just a, one, one more point of, you know, interest with regards to advertising... What's yeah. ca- you know the, the mm. album which I think if you look at our fan base who tend to be let's say a little bit more mature anyway mm-hmm. they like to hold the album yeah. they they will download it probably as soon as they can get hold of it but they will go out and buy it physically yeah. because they want to have it in their hands and they bring it yeah. to the show they want it signed so it might be a different mentality to mm. maybe younger bands these I don't, I don't know but the fans that we tend to have followers like something like to get physical their hands product on can understand yeah. that, can't you? Well, something, mm. It's always yeah, it's good to have yeah. something in your hands. It's always yeah. good to have something in your hands, definitely. <laughs> I mean, we're a band that likes to be felt. It's yeah. the only way. Yeah. It's yeah. the only way I tell you. <laughs> and also, uh, I mean, in, in all seriousness, the artwork of uh, Magnum mm. albums are very, uh, very infamous. You know. Yes, another good word. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> very good. English for beginners. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, uh, the, uh, the artwork... We, uh, is, is fantastic. I mean, Alan here contributes as well to that, so you know, credit where credit's due and all that. Thank um, you. And uh, Rodney Matthews, obviously, who does uh, the main front cover yeah. normally. Um, so you know, it's a work of art as well, you know. Yeah, absolutely. And you mentioned vinyl there. So the latest release was on vinyl too, yeah. was it? The big resurgence in vinyl as yeah, well, isn't there? Most definitely. In terms of collectibilities, is being an important well, point. And it's great seeing that size. Yeah. You know, with the artwork on it, it's yeah, fantastic. Yeah. That's another thing SPV have done for us. They've took the last ten, you know, eight albums, is it, and done them all on vinyl. So you can collect the whole right. SPV catalogue with it, Magnum on vinyl. Oh, that's it looks terrific. great when you've got it on, mm. on your shelf or wherever. And all that beautiful artwork, as you say, isn't yes. it, as well? Yeah, yeah. So you kind of got one foot in the past with the vinyl, nice mm. physical product, one foot in the presence with digital downloads. Yeah. Are you also embracing you know, social media as much? I know that you're on, the band is on, uh, on Twitter, you've got on a Facebook, Facebook page. Yeah. Do each of the individual band members you know, contribute to that, or how does that work? It's mostly... It's, it, I mean, I am on Twitter... Um, don't laugh. I, I tweeted in 2008. Where am I? <laughs> oh no, and that was, that was the last it. one, was it? Oh, that, no. That's it. Um, I do a lot of, on Facebook, but with regards to the band, I think over to you, Alan. Really, I kind of look after that side of things, um, but I'm I'm basically I'm the one that sits on the computer. But everything that comes through me yeah. generally goes through to whoever's. If it's, so it's a question for Harry, obviously yeah. I, I was forwarded to yeah. Harry, and he answers yeah. it. Um, but we we got the website and. The Twitter site that Annie runs, who helps with the merch and um, Bob's PA as well. But um, Facebook has been fantastic. It's been a way to get. I mean, we have got twenty. I don't know how many we got now. Twenty odd thousand on there, mm-hmm. and it's building every day. Every day, it's over a hundred new likes. And it's a good way of putting little ideas out there and getting feedback from the crowd. Absolutely. And instantly, when you're on tour as well, as soon as you walk off stage and you've had a share of stuff and you. Facebook's pinging away. People going, great show, and you get instant feedback. So fan, fan clubs where they used to send letters through was a very time-consuming and expensive way of doing things. Now this is instant, and it affects us very instantly as well. So yeah. if we get something negative, we discuss it and yeah. go from there. And you can address it, yeah. can't you? Yeah. And you can get stuff out there very quickly as well, can't you? Yeah. And as you say, that interaction is an important thing. So come on, get, get tweeting. Yeah. Would you like to tell us what your handle is? Oh, <laughs> I don't. So what's next then for Magnum? Uh, what's next? Uh, more touring. Um, hopefully later on in the year we're, we're hoping to put a few more gigs in. Right. Um, and obviously another album. Another album. And, and we're rather hoping we can get a few festivals in this, this year. But more probably be more festivals next year. Yeah. They take a bit of planning, don't they, and sort of they a do. lot of discussion. It's not something you can do quite quickly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that, going back to the, the media side of things, we get so many things uh, letters going, why aren't you playing this town, why aren't you playing that town? Because we would play every possible Everywhere. conceivable venue that we could get into within reason. And what the people need to do is get on the social sites and get in touch with the promoters of these places and say, get us in there, now really push the band... Because the promoters are the ones that really want that call us and say, "Come on, guys, let's get you in." Oh, that's that's what we need. The band are doing some great music. We're getting a, a great album out. We just need promoters to really pick us up and, and put us in front of people. The people are there and they're willing to pay their ticket price. 
seem to be going up a lot. But that's another story. <laughs> badge of the promoters. Excellent. Yeah. Well, that's the message, I think, isn't it, for the fans to go out there, get Bad- Magnum in your town. Badger. Yeah. Badger. Badger, badger, badger. That's the word of the day. Another yeah. good word. Poke, yeah. poke them on Facebook yeah. and poke them poke everywhere. Them. Poke, poke them, yes. 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 Them. Poke badger them. and poke. Another two good two words. Yeah, we like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you very much for speaking to me. I hope you have a good gig. It's going to be excellent, no doubt, and uh, I'm sure we'll catch up again at some point in Thanks the future. Thank, thank you very much. You've been listening to Cattails. To listen again to this and other tales, go to cattails.co.uk.